In this video, we're going to work with a new data type called string. Uh, a string is similar to a character, except that a character can only hold a single letter, but a string can hold multiple letters. So it's a nice way to get um, you know, words or sentences out of either files or uh, input from the user. So right now we're going to work with the user, get an input. Uh, you need to include this library up at the top, the string. Right? Just like all the other libraries, and that defines a string data type for us. And here you see I'm declaring three variables with the type of string. So you declare them just like you would an integer or anything else. Uh, the program currently just out asks the user for his full name, assigns it to the full name variable, right, the input, and then outputs it. All right. uh, this is going to show you that there is an issue with full name that we're going to have to show you how to resolve it. So let's first show you the issue here. Tell me already to enter my first name, full name I mean. So there we go, it's the full name. And you see that it only outputs rich. Right? Even though I signed the input to full name, it only took the first portion of it. Right? And the issue is that with a CN, when you're typing on the input, a CN stops once it sees a white space. A white space is anything like a space bar, a carriage return, or a tab on the input. So I got a space on the input, so it only assigned rich the full name. So it doesn't work quite the way we want it to work there. Alright, I'm going to put a new line character here so we see things a little cleaner on the output. So to fix that, when you're working with strings, you want to use the get line. So we'll take the CN out. And the get line is a function that comes along with the library. Um, you give it the CN so it knows what type of input you're using. And then the variable where you want to put the data in. Now the get line works different than the CN in the sense that it'll get all the data that's typed in up to the carriage return. Right, so if we rerun this program now, we'll see that as I type my whole full name in, the full name variable will have my full name right, on the output. So here's the program again. I'm typing in my name again. And you see now the output has the full name. Right, so it took everything up to the carriage return. And I can put in more and more um, two names, I can put you know, a complete sentence in there, and it'll take the whole sentence and assign it to that one variable. All right, remember, the variable names themselves have no meaning to the, to the program, it's just a name. So I can call full name x if I wanted to, and it'll still do the same thing. All right, so that's how you get around that problem. Now to show you that everything that you typed in is still there, I'm going to put two cns in. I'm using two different variables and I'm going to enter the input the same way but then I'm going to output those two variables as they are all right so we'll run this guy now and you'll see that even though I type in rich space specioso the specioso is not lost right, it's sitting on the input buffer as a next input waiting for the next input now if I never know do another CN Right, uh, the data will be then lost. But you can see, I did the two CNs. Right, it's only one C out statement, and I got first name, so it got my first name. Right, not because the variable is called first name, it's just because that got the first piece of data up to the white space. That's what a CN does. The next CN will pick up the rest of the data right, in terms of up, at least up to the next white space. Right, so it picked up the specioso. Right, so the data is in there once I type it in the enter, and then it starts processing once I hit the enter key. Alright, so the data is not lost in that sense. Um, next thing I want to show you here is uh, oh, concatenation a little bit. But I'm going to show you this first. Um, why don't we just go ahead and do them all actually. And what's going to happen here, I'm going to show you how to concatenate two strings together to form another string, which is a very popular feature or function of a string. So this first C out, I'm going to get the two first name and the last name, just like I did before in the previous run of this program, and then when I'll put them. So you should see rich with no space and then specioso. Right, so you can see that space is lost. Then I'm going to do those two variables, but I'm using the addition sign. And in terms of strings, that means cantonation or add to. So add to this string a space and then add to that complete string whatever last name is. So it puts my name together with a space in between them. And then I'll output that again. All right, so we'll see that as we go along here. So here addition means concatenation. Put the two strings together or multiple strings, right? One for each addition. 
and it keeps putting the names together. So type in the names same way as I have been. All right. All right. There again, the individual variables, rich for the first name, specioso, and the last name. Then I outputted the two pieces, right? First name and last name, right? So there's no space. Then I did full name, and I forced in the space there with the concatenating them all together. And then on the C out, I used the full name. I never got full name up here as input. So I created full name based on these two variables and adding the space to it. And there I see Rich Specioso with the space between the two words. Okay. Now there still is an issue, um, just like we looked in the other video, when you're inputting characters using the CN or an, and a get combination. Um, that they would skip some inputs. The same thing can happen here with the strings when using the get line. Um, you'll actually see it's skipping some input. And it's really only skipping the input because of the same issue. It leaves the carriage return on the input buffer. All right, so you would have to do the same thing with putting the ignores in between them all right, to help avoid skipping input. All right, so good luck and use strings a lot.